Hello, everyone. I'm a software engineer from PRCT Lab Institute of Software, Chinese Academy of Science. The subject of my presentation is about our working to make the V8 RIX-564 target toward a Taiwan platform in the Chromium project. As is known to all, V8 is the core component of the most popular web browser, Chrome, in the world. Also, it's the core component of Node.js, which is a server-side JavaScript runtime. Its availability and stability are very important for new ESAS software ecosystem. In the early of 2020, both our PR City Lab and the United Team of Rose Lab and the Future Way Technology started the porting work separately. Both of the teams opened their initial porting in the middle of July, and then we decided to join together to work on the same code base. So a core team is set up at the middle of October, preparing for upstream started. Okay, this is, this is a short review for the development history of the V8 for RISC-5 in 2020. After this retrospect, let me introduce about my presentation today. I will try to cover the four items, talk about the effort we had paid to make it to be a Taiwan platform as X86, ARM V7 and ARM64, which means it has better function, performance, and stability. Okay, let's start. Maintaining a rapidly changing software downstream is painful, so is V8. The preparing for upstream took us four months. We kept rebasing and fixed many bugs. Thanks to Bryce, with his great effort in community and communication, we reached the goal just before Chinese Spring Festival. But we skipped several failure regression cases at that moment. From then on, the whole team started to maintain it on upstream. Our daily work includes four parts. The first and the most critical part is porting and fix the latest upstream change for RISC-5. In V8, only the Taiwan platforms such as X86 and ARM had full CI validation. Any new commit changes will be checked to see if it would break these two targets. What's more, new features are only designed and implemented for the Taiwan targets. So we reviewed and checked every day for the new commits. Here's a good case that we now have the new baseline compiler Spark Black for the RISC-564 target. It will bring about 5% to 15% performance enhancement, according to Google's report. The second part of our daily maintenance is quite fundamental. We need to add proper ESA related tool chain and OS configurations and options in both V8 and the Chromium project. The third part is for the function integrity. We fixed the bugs and re-enabled the features that were skipped at the upstream time. For example, the constant pull can save those immediate instructions. Now it worked for both ARM PowerPC and the RISC-564. The last part is for performance. We reviewed the backend as well as the emitted binary code, then made some modifications to generate more efficient code. That's all for our daily maintain for V8 for RISC-5. In these slides, you can see the current performance status. For the internal buildings, RISC-5 has 7% less static code than MIPS-64. And for the common JavaScript benchmarks like Kraken, SunSpider, and Octane, RISC-5 has about 
13 to 18 percent more static code and 3 percent to 9 percent dynamic code than MIPS, MIPS 64. For the stability aspect, you can see we have set up a CI, CI website for several RISC-V soft, software, including V8. We are continuously tracking two branches of V8 in this CI system. One is master, and uh, the master is always keep up with upstream master branch. Another is RISC-V 64, which is the latest commit that is good for RISC-V. Next, I'm going to talk about the RISC-V supporting Node.js. As V8 is an embedded component in Node.js, we had ported a demo version in last year. After V8 has been upstreamed, we committed the RISC-V 64 configurations to Node.js build system. Now we are waiting for the V8 version to be updated to 9.1, which is a good basic version for further Node.js building and testing. Okay, this is all about what we have done for the V8 for RISC-V. We are trying to do what we have seen the Taiwan platform maintainers had done for V8. In the future, besides the bug fixing and the new feature porting, we also plan to do more RISC-V ESA-related implementations. In this side, you can see we already have a wish list or say roadmap for this year. At the middle of 2021, we have done the better part of our wish list. So in the second half of 2021, first, we are going to continuously maintain and improve the performance of V8. Second, we have already started the RISC-V 32-bit ESA porting work in the RISC-V mentorship project. Also, we are still trying for vector extension implementation for WebAssembly CMD. Third, we are going to cover the porting, building, testing, and upstreaming of Node.js. That's all for my talk. I want to thank to all the contributors and the community members for the RISC-V and V8 work. I hope you can know more about how we unlock an open source web software for RISC-V and bring it up. I also welcome you to join us. Thank you.